Hey guys, Rana here and in this video, I'll show you how you can create a free WordPress website with free domain name and free web hosting, which means you don't have to spend any money at all. And there is a no coding skills required. You just need an internet connection and a computer to create your free WordPress website. By spending your 10 minutes, you will be able to create this beautiful WordPress website. So let's get started and let me show you how you can create a free WordPress website. So let's get started. All right, guys, in order to create any website, whether it's e-commerce or blog or any kind of website, there are two requirements. First is web hosting and second is domain name. If you are wondering what is web hosting and domain name, in simple language, web hosting is a place where all your website file will be stored like a computer. You store your images, your media, your data. And domain name is your website name like google.com, amazon.com, flipkart.com, something like that. Okay? Since in this video, we are going to create a free website, we need a free web hosting and a free domain name. To get that, open up any web browser that you have in your computer. First, perform a Google search for freenom.com and open up this website in a new tab. In the same time, perform another Google search for Infinity Free and open up this website in the same tab. So from infinityfree.net, we will get free web hosting and from freenom.com, we will get free domain name. First of all, in a freenom.com, let's go ahead, click on sign in and here you can sign in with social networks or you can sign in with your email and password. Since I already have account on freenom, I'm going to log in. So you can see I've successfully logged in on freenom.com. If you guys getting any kind of problem with freenom.com, I already made a video to solve all the problems with freenom.com. You can check out that video by going to the description box of this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on this drop down button and then click on register a new domain. And now search your domain name and then click on check availability. So you can see your domain is available. If you look at here, these are the free domains. If you scroll down, you can see these are the paid one. Since in this video, we are going to create a free website. So we need a free domain name. Let's go ahead, get one of them by clicking on get it now. And then click on checkout. So here, change this time period by clicking over here to 12 month free and then click on continue. Now check this box and click on complete order. You can see we have this message. Thank you for your order. You will receive a confirmation email shortly. That means your order has been confirmed to check that. Let's go ahead. Click on this drop down button alongside services and then click on my domains. So here you can see we just register this domain name for free for one year. Let's go ahead, click on manage domain, then click on this drop down button and then click on name servers. Now select second option. Now here you have to type in the name server of infinityfree.net. So leave this web page as it is. We will come back and we will type name server of infinity free. Let's go to infinity free here you have to create an account. Let's go ahead, click on sign up now. Now complete this simple sign up form by typing your email and password and then check this box and now complete this capture and then click on create new account. Now infinityfree.net has sent you a verification email. Let's go ahead, verify your email. So now you can see we have verification email from infinity free. Let's go ahead, verify that. Let's open it and then click on verify email address. So email has been verified successfully. Next, let's go ahead, click on create account, select custom domain, type your domain name and then click on search domain. Now type your account password and complete this capture. Then click on create account. So now you can see we have this message. Your domain is not yet pointed to these name servers. Let's copy this name server and come back to this freenom.com and paste your name server. 
once you type in these name server then click on change name server all right we are good here let's go back to infinity free now again type your account password and then click on create account all right so you can see our account has been successfully created now click on open control panel now click on i approve all right guys so this is the infinity free c panel here we are going to install wordpress to do it scroll down and click on software classes apps installer if you see this type of error message don't worry try to refresh the page one or three time and this message will gone all right so you can see now we have this web page here we can install wordpress to do it hover your mouse over wordpress and then click on install in here scroll down under the site setting you can type your site name you can type your site description then scroll down here you can type in your account username this will be your wordpress dashboard username and password so make sure you remember your wordpress username and password once you type in your wordpress username and password scroll down select your language english would be fine for me and keep scrolling down just click on install ignore everything you can click on save if you want and your wordpress will be installed within seconds all right guys you can see we have successfully installed wordpress to access your wordpress website you can go to this url so you can see this is your wordpress website looks like by default by going to this url you can access your wordpress dashboard so if you want to access your wordpress website anytime you can access it by typing this url your domain name slash wp dash admin let me show you what i mean by that let me quickly log out once you log out let's close this one and this one as well let's copy this url open new tab paste press enter here you have to type in your username and password and click on login all right guys so this is the dashboard again so this is how you can access your wordpress dashboard if you want to see your site have your mouse over here right click open link in new tab so this is your wordpress website looks like by default so guys if you are wondering what should i do next my site is ugly and there is a no ssl there is a uh, unsecure connection or stuff like that well i have created a separate playlist you can check out that playlist by going to the description box of this video by watching that playlist you will be able to customize your website and you will be able to secure your website and many more thing you can learn from that playlist so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time